Yo, yo, what up guys? You can see by the title, we're finally getting the A2B 5 bar sensor kit in. Um, clearly, I haven't unboxed it yet, so let's knock that out real quick. I actually just posted on the EQT page this morning, as soon as I woke up, before I even got out of bed, and asked to see um, how everybody did there. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm still a little sick. How everybody did there. <coughs> install to make it look clean and i had a couple guys post some really good ideas they actually included a boost tap in this um i guess i'll be giving that away because i have a different one but here's the actual sensor uh, probably won't ever focus on this let's see if it oh there we go it's an aem five bar sensor it's a quarter inch nbt npt fitting um all right, here we got the wiring harness. So uh, one goes into this, boom. Another one goes into your existing manifold sensor, and then this goes to the actual wiring harness that would plug into the sensor. Like these two could actually plug into one another. So just gotta find a decent place to mount this, and then however I want to, uh, you know, get a boost source to that. Um, looks like it actually came with. All the things you need here. Interesting. Which I might have to steal, so it came with a tap to actually tap the manifold. Let's see if we can get this to refocus back here. You got the actual tap to tap the manifold. You want to do that when it's hot. You got um, some barbs and um, caps for the the guy itself. So I actually I could switch to this, but I like my precision one which is basically the same exact thing without this being milled out so this sits 90 degrees in there like this will sit right in there like this boom and on mine it sits on the outside it's already made for it but uh, the way this guy has it he just has like a line coming off of here going right to this and then this actually clicks right into the manifold and it's a nice uh, metal braided line so I might go ahead and go that route. I don't want to use this because I have everything here. Um, I might have to steal a couple of these little caps out of there because I have mine capped, which I'll, I'll just show you guys in a bit. But I might steal two of these just to, or one of them, just to cap mine off. But uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go check out what we have on the car, how this might install, and we'll go from there. So I gotta be careful because I can't show you guys the turbo. I don't want to get myself in trouble. Sorry about the garage noise. But uh, my main issue was, or is, let me set some things down here. Um, so this sits out and I didn't, I don't want it to hit the intake. I didn't want to have to drill a hole in the intake. So let me see. Yeah, so this would not reach. Push this out of the way. Yeah, it would not reach. I'd have to put a hole in the intake. So that's why I wanted to use that adapter. And then apparently this just clips in somewhere like right here, like this, something like that. Like it'll just, yeah, boom. That's exactly where I want it to sit. And it'll sit right next to this. And then uh, we just gotta hide a little bit of wire. So, which I could tuck most of it back up into here I think actually just uh, pop these up and lay it in there just right so yeah we're just gonna have to figure this out <coughs> like I said I could use this other one I like the blue though the blue matches the blue even though they kind of really don't now um, this could just pop right on there and then dang it now I'm torn between what I want to use I like my blue stuff Hmm. Man, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Now I could use this one and order that line that I want to use here. Let me show you guys how the buddy does it. All right, this is how Sean does his. You can see it comes right off there and then swoops right around with that that braided line. I really like that, but um, obviously I don't have that line on hand. 
And see, I was saying, like, the caps, I have to cap one of these off, because I'm going to have to use, well, you know, the other one, I wouldn't have to do that at all. I could just have the two caps, one going for this, and then the AM just facing down here, and then just route the cables up. Since this is long, um, yeah, that just might be the move, I guess. I really wanted to keep it blue, but this just seems like the better option. Then I can just sell this one. It's a little upsetting, but... Well, I guess we're going to send it like that. It only makes sense. Alright, guys, so far, uh, I kind of like set it up there thinking that this is how I might want it. Um, man, just, just like this. Capped there, capped there. The damn thing to focus. And the uh, five bar will go right below it. Something like this. Oop. Something like this. Right to my boost tap. Get rid of those ugly other lines. Um, Alright. So let's take the five bar and shove that baby on in. Apex Bowl. What's up, dude? What's up? Sit. Good boy. Apex. Or, I get my dogs. Names confused. I even com uh, squish them together sometimes. We got Apex and Jay Z, and I'll be calling him Jpex and AZ or something along those lines. Ain't that right? I'm calling you the wrong names. Look at you getting so big and slobbering. What do you think? Hmm? Are we gonna go fast or what? Yeah, we're gonna go fast. We're gonna go fast. Yeah, that's my bowl. Ow! Poison your damn nails. Ah, E46 looking clean. All right, anyway, back to the car here. Got it in. The sensor is a bit loose. Um, the other one was not like that. Uh, I don't know if this is going to leak or not. <sighs> Stresses me out. I don't know. I guess it should work. We'll find out today. No, all I got to do is uh, rail out the wiring here. Very simple. And we'll be good to go. I can flash a new tune and go for a drive. All right, Yens, this is how I routed it. It's not, I, I need to get a black zip tie uh, to hide it a little bit better, but I routed it through here, down, and around the wiring harness here, and then right up to the AEM. Boom. And obviously, this side goes to here. It's uh, decently clean. It's not uh, ugly by any means, I guess. But, uh, I said this boost tap is, is awfully loose. I posted it on my uh, little thread I made this morning and the guys are saying theirs are just as loose and doesn't leak. So I guess I'm gonna send it. I just put the new tune on the Cobb unit and uh, move my Jeep out of the way here. And we'll go for our first little drive. The girlfriend wants me to bring her lunch. So uh, I guess we'll just go for a little cruise, go Drop by Chipotle, grab her food, and then head to base and give her that. So, gives me something to do this morning. Oh, and then after that, I'll go grab oil, come back, do an oil change, and then I'll, I'm gonna need to sit down on the computer and find some roads. I need to find like an industrial area or something. I need to find a good road that I can do data logs on. Ed wants me to do data logs in fourth gear up to like, you know, 7,700 RPM. That's like 100 and. 60 or so mile an hour like yeah at least at least 150 i remember on the this is where we lived in new mexico the road right beside us was went from the highway all the way it, it was like probably a eight or so mile road probably longer than that it goes all the way back to some farmland in the middle of nowhere i could hop on that road and by the time i got to the to the farm my oil temp was already warmed up and i could just do a pool turn around head back home it was literally my road connected right to it. I could see it from my front porch. I could make 160 mile an hour pulls on that road. And uh, definitely can't do that out here. And you know, it's so flat out there. You're, the radar detector could pick up a cop, you know, way, way down the way. Cause you know, it's so flat, no, no curves, no nothing out here. It's illegal to even have, they have radar detector detectors from what I'm being told. So I can even turn my radar on here without the fear of getting pulled over. So I gotta find a nice road to, uh, 
do my illegal activity. <laughs> but uh, now I'm gonna flash this real quick and then uh, we're gonna head to Chipotle. See how she drives. Isn't she just gorgeous? Isn't she just gorgeous? Man, I am livid right now. Not a happy camper. Friday afternoon, just went and signed paperwork and shit for my new job, start Monday. Feeling good, feeling great. Went and had lunch. Beautiful day out. I'm like, alright, cool. I can finally go get some data logs for Ed. He can maybe look those over. Maybe, just maybe send me another tune tonight. My mom's flying in from Indiana. Give her some rides in the car. Freaking make a video with her. She's asking me if she can be on the YouTube channel. This is at the third. Get on the highway. Heading back towards home here. And I'm um, just getting into the lane. About, I don't know, 40, 50% throttle. And then I hear a ting. Look back. Smoke screen. Blinkers on. Freaking pull over the side of the road. Shut her off. Car starts. I mean, but it just dumps smoke. Um, I, I popped the hood. And before I started the car again, I, I popped the hood, get in there, feeling around the intake, looking around. There's smoke coming out of the intake. And it like, you feel the intake in the hose, it feels like there's, like, as if the turbine came up and like, fuck things up. So, um, had my roommate Megan come get me uh, on the side of the highway, came back here, grabbed the trailer, grabbed the Jeep. When I got there, loaded up, I had to start it, I had nobody to help me push it. It starts right up, drove right on there, huge smoke screen. And again, I don't have help to unload it, so I'm going to have to start it, get it down, off the things, and into the garage. So, sorry. I'm going to set the camera down, and you guys can see the smoke screen as I bring the car in the garage. Who knows how long, I am like this close to just parting everything out besides the freaking the rear end stuff and just biting the bullet getting rid of the jeep getting rid of the trailer getting rid of everything on the car except for the rear end and getting a ttrs i'm like uh, ugh. It just looks great, don't it? Smoked out the whole garage. <laughs> Think we'd be hot boxing in here, huh? Shoo! Been a good 10 minutes. I've been parking the trailer out. Now you can't really see it. There's the, oh yeah, you can. There is still smoke coming out the intake. Like, that wasn't like that before, how it's like bent in like that. Look at that. No bueno. All right, well, just opened up the catch can line. Not a whole lot came out. Um, let me see here. What we got? Just that little bit out of the catch can. So, yeah, I don't know. Thinking maybe I would have saw something significant. Uh, but to pull this intake off and see what we find.